my dear brother's back. Brandon Tatum, former police officer, author of Beaten Black and Blue, being a black cop in an America under siege. Officer Tatum, welcome back, sir, how are you? Thank you for having me back, my brother, I'm doing well. All right, man, okay, well, let's get into it. I, I see you've been talking reckless about me on your YouTube page over there. We'll address that later. I, I don't know if there's reckless. I think oh, it's reckless it's facts. Oh, okay. We, you about to see how reckless it is in a minute. <laughs> so let's get into policing versus public safety. That is the agreed to debate format today. Um, I think it is a separation. I don't want to presume what you know, believe about those two dynamics. So if you would give us your sentiment and I will opine. Yeah, I think I mean I think this is one and the same. If you ask me my opinion, based on my experience as a police officer, you do both, right? You're, you're policing, you're adhering to the laws, the Constitution, you enforce those laws, but then also you have a duty and a responsibility to connect with the community and to use your resources that are available to you to make a best outcome, make the best outcome that you can when interacting with the public. I think those things are interchangeable; they go one hand in hand, and then you cannot have one without the other. All right, so I see it differently. I see policing as a separate operation, uh, but connected. Uh, so for example, I think public safety is the overall goal. Policing is one methodology to obtain that goal. Um, I have what's called a five tier public safety directive. My five tier directive says here are your five pillars and every government has to do these things and do them well to have an effective public safety model, one, fire service, two, law enforcement, three, emergency medical, EMS, four, mental health, and five, preventative programs. Now, that's your public safety model, okay? Uh, policing has become conflated. I agree, there's a conflation now of policing and public safety. It is not the same, it is not the same. And that is evidenced by the reality that police often will say, we're not trained to deal with this. And they would name something that is an issue in public safety. If there's a mental health disorder, uh, police officers are typically not well equipped or well trained to deal with that element. Well, is it a safety dynamic? Yes, it can be a safety dynamic for members of the community. Um, also preventative measures, police officers are reactionary. They come typically when somebody calls 911. Or when they have seen something that seems illegal, right? That is the normative rule. So they can't be preventative by the definition and design of their operation. They are not crime preventers, they are typically crime fighters. So I submit to you, dear brother, that we have somehow got, gotten off course here as it relates to public safety and policing, where many people are. Thinking like you, that in order to have public safety, you must have a massive uh, police budget. But police officers admit many elements of public safety in a community, they are simply unable to address no matter how, how much money you give them. Uh, what, right, right. what do you say about that? Yeah, I don't think it's that you have to have a massive police department and a massive budget. You just need to have an effective budget and an effective okay. police department. And we need to have police officers that are adequately trained, right? Because we can't just avoid a mental health scenario. If just say we go to a domestic violence situation and the husband is mentally ill. Mm -hmm. As a police officer, you still have to enforce the law and we should be well trained enough to, to deal with it as efficient and effective as possible. Police officers will never be social workers. That's not the field that they're in, but you can have a level of communication, a level of training that can help you deal with these situations in the best way you can when the situation presents itself like we were CIT trained. Crisis intervention training. We took 40 hours of training. We learned a lot about mental illness. We learned how to de-escalate, but we can only do so much. But I think it's invaluable that we have that level of training, and it will help police officers be effective. We we yeah. cannot we cannot avoid the fact that law enforcement has to get involved. And I want to touch real quick on the on the proactive side. That's why funding police is important. So police are not just uh, reactive; they can be proactive. And being proactive means you have enough police officers that they can go out and patrol the community. We get a flyer of a, of a, of a suspect that's uh, at large. We can go find that person instead of just going call to call to call to call and not being uh, proactive. You said police officers are not social workers. That's actually factually untrue. Uh, there are a number of police officers today who are in fact social workers. They have a master of social work 
Some of them have a PhD and they work in law enforcement. Some of them actually carry guns, some of them have decided not to. Uh, that has become a new dynamic in the progression of law enforcement where you do have social workers who are on police forces. And many of these police forces have seen a significant um, connection between community and cop or community and policing because they decided to progress with the community itself. I will give you Ithaca, New York. Ithaca, New York, uh, they, did, they did some revolutionary things, all right? They brought in social workers. They also did an exhaustive psychological examination at the end of the training and written exam and everything else. They did an exhaustive psychological eva evaluation of those cops. These are people that qualify to be cops, brother. They were about to get the badge, all right? 75% of them failed. 75% of those officers failed that psychological eva evaluation. The 25% that made it, however, the 25% that did pass. Not one of those cops, this is years now, not one of those officers have given the citizens of Ithaca, New York an issue at all. Dr. What do you Ritchie, say to that you, data? No, no, I think that's that's what that's what we're supposed to do. And, okay. and it seems as if you are speaking of this as if it was new. When I joined the police department in 2011, we did the same thing. No, so you said that police fact. officers, no, no, you said police officers are not uh, social workers. I just gave an right. example of one department that decided to bring in social workers as police officers or replace police officers with social workers because well, they found out that 50% of their calls, they actually didn't need an officer, they needed a social worker. Right. And so they decided to create their policing model based on the community model. Right, and I don't have any problem with that if it's, okay. if it's effective and efficient for the community. Let me there just give you an example of what we did. We okay. didn't have to replace any police officers, but we incorporated what we did with the specialists in, in, in uh, social work. So what we would do, we would go to a domestic violence situation. The police officer would make sure the scene is safe, arrest people if we need to. And then we will, we will stand there on scene and allow a social worker to come and deal with the victim of a domestic violence situation or their children. So we partnered in an intimate way with that particular situation, which I think is great. Okay. I'm not opposed to a community saying, right. hey, we don't have, we don't need this many police. We need like more of this, we need, hey brother, we need more I think of we'll that. Agree. I think we'll agree. So let me take you to Chicago. Chicago has cops uh, that are paid higher than the national average. They have more cops than they've ever had before, uh, plenteous. And they still have one of the worst crime solve rates uh, in the United States of America. So just giving a, a cop or giving police officers, giving a department a bunch of money, hire a bunch of cops to pay them more money does not necessarily equate to a reduction in crime. As a matter of Dr. fact, if you go ahead, sir. I'll say Dr. Richie, I just want to I just want to make this a point. You know, just because police have what they need to be successful in trying to prevent crime, don't stop people from being criminals and stop that's people correct. from acting out. And then here's another thing. You have so, to have see, social, is, you have to have correct. policies. You have I to agree. have policies in place too because yeah. police can only arrest so many people. You take them down That's there and right. they don't prosecute people or they incentivize or decriminalize certain things, okay, then brother. we exacerbate the criminal All behavior. Right. Man, I really appreciate you opening that gateway. So let me submit something to you because you've said some things that actually do make sense. And it's I, proper. I always make sense. No, sir, you don't. <laughs> so let me bring you back to a comment you made in reference to um, policing, 100% of the time, the reason why police departments receive more money is because they are pitched to the community as the best way to reduce crime in their community. Now, where Chicago, are you getting that information from? Because that's when we when we got a bigger budget, okay, I'm, I'm going to go nothing tell you. to do with what you're referring to. I, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Um, okay. You can look up virtually any report over the last 10 years where mayor has stood up and said, we have to give our police officers more money. They've always utilized the requisite dynamic of crime or criminality in order to make the case that we need more money for the police budget to effectively fight crime. Here's the point I wanna to make to you. You said something about Ithaca, New York that I actually think is true. You said good for Ithaca basically, because if it works for that community, it works for that community. And you want what works. That's a public safety model, that is a public safety attitude. We want what works, that is what we desire, okay? So let's say there's a community that spends $1 billion a year on police. And the community says, you know what? We still have crime increasing. Nothing is changing, we keep giving you more money, we keep hiring more cops, and we keep getting increased uh, increased crime. So instead of 1 billion, uh, we're going to now say, let's cut that to 750 million and use 250 million for preventative mental health 
or wherever else those dynamics are located. If it's connected to a crime of survival, if it's connected to drug and alcohol use, if it's connected to being unsheltered, if it's connected to not having a job, if it's connected to not having a skill set, let's address the underlying issues before they get to the place of criminal contact. So let's try that with our 250 million. Let's decrease the policing budget to increase our public safety budget because that works for our community. Would you agree with that, sir? Well, Dr. Ritchie, I would agree with it on, on a face value, Good. but we have to we have to understand the dynamic. Like the problem okay. that I think we are facing is that people are saying let's eliminate the police because they're racist. Let's eliminate well, the police because are. they're bad. Some well, yeah, of them are. Yeah, some of them are. It's very oh. rare, but some of them are. Oh, okay, well, but it shouldn't if, happen if you at say, all, brother. Especially well, when we're humans. That they're well, racist and they get to keep well, no, their no, jobs. No, 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 no. Come it's on, man. Human, it's, it's human nature. There's racist You're people right, everywhere. You're right. It is. Listen, sir. Bias. So, but it's in not bias. Hyper bias. All that's human nature, dear brother. And it's you don't rare, need a gun in the you, badge. You don't need a gun in the badge. But in the but in retrospect, in reality, when I say reality of policing, it's very rare. Every most other professions have I don't way know more what adverse. What? Every uh, most professions have a lot more adverse. Employees than police. It's okay, rare that you have a racist me. police officer. Tell, tell me it's what, it's what absolutely you, rare. Tell me what industry. I, I never, in the medical industry. In the medical you, industry, you can go to are. you can go to your pulpit. You can go to your pulpit at your okay. churches. You can so go me, on television. You can get to any profession. You right. will see more so dynamics of every, racial, racial issues than you do in policing. Okay, every other profession is more racist than the police. Is what you're saying. I have never met a racist police officer when I was a police who officer for six a damn and a half years. Who you done met, sir? I, I've been. That has I nothing a, to do with the Black with National the, Police with the Association. With cosm of data. I was in the, what, what are you saying? I, I did this for a living. How many police I officers a, do you know? On, man, How many what, police officers do you know? How many police officers do you know? You would like me to answer that question, sir? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, I know probably personally, maybe 11, 12 police How officers. How many of them are racist? Hold, hold on, dear brother. Hold on. How man. many are racist? Brother, I'm, I'm going to answer the question the way I choose to. Okay. Um, so I know about 11 to 12 officers. All of them are in executive leadership of some sort, chief, sheriffs, progressive, good people. Um, they have racist cops. Uh, they have racist cops that I myself have had to report against. And my friend and I, we've talked um, long about how this individual already had problems before that day happened. So while you may say, well, I've never met a racist cop. Well, good for you. You're a lucky one. Well, why, why don't they fire them then? Cops. Why won't they fire them if they if yeah, you yeah, know exactly they know the and they're executive, exactly they're in the executive point. position, they won't fire them. Sir, How, why, that is why exactly the them? point. That's my point. Don't think but I didn't But then why are your why are your friends who are in executive positions hiring racist police officers or right. or training police so, officers so that allow racism them. on the police the department? The context that I'm referring to is a sheriff that just won an election and he had racist cops that were already there. When they looked at the guy's internal file, they found that he had problematic issues before that day. He had nothing to do with the hiring, but he fired the guy and he had him arrested. So now Good. I come back to this. Sir, you know police can be racist. I That's do. Simple. There, there are police defensive. officers out there that are oh, racist. Well, well, other people are more racist than the police. No, officers. I'm saying that the you government can't. job highly trusted, and it shouldn't happen. Right. I would love to believe that. I, I think that people should never commit a sin, but it's the way humanity is, unfortunately. All right. So there are people that take advantage of the badge. You there are people that take advantage so of all kind of things. You have never ran into a racist cop. You don't think racist cops exist to I a didn't high say level that. in some communities? You Let me just say this: have more racist cops than others. Well. If you say do some communities have more racist cops than others, sir. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that okay. racism on the police department is very rare, especially right. in black You've communities. You've been in every police department. No, I know, black, I'm no police officer all over the country. Black, oh, that's white. That's good for you. I believe the community members. I don't believe y'all. Y'all allow police. They report. want, they want police. If you look at any black community yeah, yeah, in America, sir, they want, honest they police. want, they want more honest police officers. Police. They want honest police. Sir. They and most of them get honest police. Who okay. do you think All picking right. these I, young brothers up off the street call. and investigating I crimes? I appreciate your- Who investigating you. rapes in the black community? Sir, no one is saying no police are necessary. We want good police and that's not a bad thing. We don't I want bad police you. and we're able to make that demand. We I agree with you. Thank you, sir, for being on the show.